Today I will be talking about Generation Zero. Generation Zero is an amazing video game, good graphics, but there are some things I don't like. The number one reason, the number one thing I don't like is how they copy the exact same room into another building, such as they copy the lunch area in the bunkers and put it into a like. They put it into another bunker. They don't even try to change some air, some it things in different areas. You can see the exact same farm, and they can have the exact same props sometimes, and the exact same feel of it. I I don't like that. And the number one thing I don't like is um actually uh, the r r thing about changing rooms is the most retarded thing I have ever seen. The other thing I do love the most about Generation Zero is the graphics. They are spot on. I love the story and everything about the game is amazing. The weather system is beautiful. And um, I'm trying to think of any more reasons why I should like this game. Oh yeah. So I love the robots. I love how... The different parts you shoot does damage them. Like, if you shoot their armor off, that where um, that gives you an opportunity to kill them. If you shoot their heads, that gives them a hard opportunity to um see you. But the one thing I don't like is the silencers that you attach to your guns. They don't do anything. I just in a video in this game, I had like a level a very good silencer. And I was far away, they couldn't see me. And when I shot it, they immediately spot me. And then just run after me, and I died. Which I did not love. But I do love the combat area, I love the story. The story is that you come from, you go to somewhere, then you come back from... I don't know, it doesn't tell you, I never beat the game, but I'm telling you the story so far. You... Come, you go back to Sweden from a vacation, something destroys your boat, you go shipwreck, and then you go draft onto Sweden again. Your story as the main character finds out what happened to Sweden, where, where's all the peeper, people, what happened to everyone, why are there robots killing, peop, killing you. And it takes place in 1980, so you make your own 80s character character hero and um that and um hold on i'm trying to think oh yeah the guns in this game are really spot on there's the shotgun the pistol there are different types of guns that goes up like you can find a very good shotgun and it will do more damage to them find scopes on it and put them on the gun like you see in the gameplay and um and the one thing i don't find i find kind of weird about the clothing system is that each clothing has its own armor too such as if you wear a jacket and it has explosion protection on it you have to immediately wear if you have to wear that jacket you don't have to it's your opinion but in the PS4 edition, I have my character all red to make him look cool. And wears a gas mask, which the gas mask is impossible to see through. I took it off a, took it off a little while through the gameplay. When I was playing the game, I played it with... It's more funner when you play it with someone. I played it with my dad on the PS4. It was more... It's more better with other people. When it's by yourself, it feels like there's no one in the... It feels like you're all alone. There's only robots that are after you so what it, the game is mostly an objective game you have to do this to get leveled up there are mo you have to start on a small island and after the small island you start to the big island of the big main swedish island where pewdiepie lives they have the swedish meatballs and that's where ikea is and um the game isn't bad, it's just, it gets kind of boring sometimes. And it is like an exploring game where you have to explore this to get to that. And it doesn't explain the mission too good. 
like it could say go to this area but it doesn't tell you where the area is you have to go through all, the whole map and it explains a little bit of where it might be it can be there could be a map and it has a circle on it which is kind of easy to find but it says like I try to do a mission where it says go to this area then you'll find but then you'll find that this item which I found that which I used the map I found like a big thing like I guess it was a church which it said go this way that's it, which is closer to the church so I decided oh let me find a build something on the map that looks like a church so then I, I look I found a big like a landmark and it has it was like a church so I said okay which is the closest thing that is and I searched everywhere near it and I found the item so the game the game isn't bad it, it's I was spot on game spot on good graphics four stars but it just gets boring it's a boring long game which is nothing to do which is kind of like a game where you just shoot robots which gets more boring but the I don't think the game is boring for just shooting robots I think it's boring that you mostly walk around you walk around everywhere in the map and there's nothing to do you can't even enter the bomb shelters that I think was kind of stupid because they're they're in there for a re there should be they should be in the game for a reason how come they're um they're not in the game <sighs> Jeez, I need to take some breaths it's speaking so long and it gets kind of, it gets like what would be more funner if they added like a car there if it would it would be more good if they add a car but if you hit a robot it shouldn't it will do damage it will do more damage to your car if you hit them and um they should just added cars and there's a thing called if you find that air, there's something when you find that area it can have a safe house which i think is kind of easy you don't want to always like go walking around because it's a big area you don't want to always you don't want to go from that side of the map and go all the way to the top right of the map which i love i like the fast traveling system but the one thing that just gets me angry is that um i forgot what it was hold on was oh, I forgot about what it was was the mission where you have to go like all around this like town and you had to find out what happened to it so I was playing with my dad and we were just trying to find this mission he was saying that this is totally dumb which I had to agree it was kind of a big waste of time so when we were trying to look for the area we were searching every house in the city in the town and we found some plants but it didn't it said it said go to the shelter and then look around for clues and it didn't explain what shelter it was it just said go to the shelter and i'm like what shelter what what do you mean shelter like a house which we thought it was a house and, was, and then we decided oh we'll search every house in this in the town we found some stuff that helped like some stuff about the um the goal in the game is to find out like where like everyone is and like find out where did they go you go to that area where did they go you go to that area where did they go you go to that area which is kind of just like a search go search go search go go to the end kill some robots and a search go and then the end game is end i don't know the full i don't know the ending of the game i didn't beat the game i just want to give out my opinion to the game and other has other people have their own opinions of the game but i request that you don't play generation zero on your computer it if you have a com amazing big strong computer then it, you can play it but if you have like a, a computer that i'm using right now and you go to the town you'll see in the game pay, gameplay a little bit that when you go into the town on your like n not powerful computer it just lags it's like a one it's like an 8-bit not 8-bit it's like a slow motion 
like gameplay, which is so annoying. And um, and half of the um, textures and half of people speak is well, the game is taking place in Sweden, and they speak Swedish. And sometimes you'll get lost in the game. Sometimes you don't know where you're going. Then you got to look on your map. But the game is good. The game is beautiful. I give it a 10 out of 10. Gameplay. I love that you can customize your character. You go to the bunkers. And you go to. You have to try to find out. Like turn on the power. And try to find out what happened. You get to customize your character. To make it its own 80. 1980s car superhero character that you have to control and I think that's all I have